The Canterbury Tales, The Pardoner's Tale. It all begins with the pardoner describing his preaching methods. He does not care about the people and manipulates them to give him money. The topics of his sermon is always about greed, because according to him, greed is the root of all evil. I put on a show to manipulate others. I do not care about their soul. I will be able to tell you people a moral thing. There were three young men who lived in France, in which they have spent their lives in gluttony and drunkenness. He begins his tale by introducing the three young men who lived in Sundays. The young men are drinking in a tavern and notice a coffin go by. They learn that they used to know the dead man, in which he has been stabbed in the heart by a thief called death. I heard that a man got stabbed in the heart by a thief in death. The thief likely lives in a town nearby. We should kill this thief! The three young men decided to pursue killing him in their drunken rage and met an old man in which the old man claimed that he will not be killed by death because he has lived for a long time. He thought that the old man knows about death's whereabouts. I've lived a long time, so death will not take me. The young men got distracted because of the coins beneath the tree and believed that fortune gave them treasure. They waited until dark to sneak away with it. The youngest went to town to get food and wine, while the other two young men waited and guarded the treasure. We should kill him! When the youngest gets back, he is killed. The other also dies because he drank the poison. Death has indeed taken them all. After the sale, the partner offers his services to the company for a fee. Harry Bailey insults him, making the partner angry. It is clear that the lesson of the story is that sinful behavior ultimately results in death. You reap what you sow. The End